this interesting mesh looking uh, uh, grills are. Now this is going to be your dual radiator system in the back. Now we've done that obviously for two reasons. Uh, we've done this for weight distribution. We want to give you optimum rate weight distribution on a vehicle. When you have high performance, you need to make sure it's balanced. So we have 48% of the weight in the front. We have 52% of the weight in the rear. This is a rear wheel drive. So you do want that weight over there. Also in the back here, if you're checking out the, the rear here, this is an automatically deploying rear spoiler. Now I have a button here that manually puts it up just in case you want to have it up when you're driving down the street, but this automatically deploys at 50 miles an hour. It's gonna give you 800 pounds of downward force. Now it's necessary because of course 202 miles an hour is quite fast and we wanna make sure that your back wheels stay on the ground. Uh, also, the vehicle itself is very lightweight. That's another reason why we need that weight back there. This vehicle is made of 65% carbon fiber. If you're familiar with carbon fiber, it's uh, very lightweight, it's aeronautical grade, and it's actually exposed here on the interior, as you can see on the doors. Also underneath the hood there, you're gonna see some of that carbon fiber weave. Uh, the entire vehicle uh, that's painted, whatever's painted on the exterior is gonna be made of that carbon fiber. Also, the tub of the LFA is also made of carbon fiber. It makes it very lightweight. So if you guys check that out here, you can see that exposed uh, carbon fiber here. The curb weight for this vehicle is 3,263 pounds. That actually weighs less then our blue IS, which is on our display right behind you, so our smallest size sedan, this vehicle actually weighs less than that. So very uh, supreme engineering for us. It took actually 10 years in concept for the LFA, and the original design for the LFA actually was an aluminum build. They found it was too heavy, so they created carbon fiber design for this vehicle. There's only two looms in the entire world that create the carbon fiber for LFA, and we actually have both of them. So very excited to put that into this beautiful machine. Uh, that's about performance. We have a t triple exhaust in the back there. If you're looking back there, there's a very unique exhaust. Yamaha Instruments actually helped us design that exhaust system. It's a titanium exhaust, you probably haven't seen uh, very many with three. Uh, they tuned this LFA to sound like an F1 inspired vehicle. So not only does it look like an F1 inspired vehicle, it's gonna sound exactly like an F1 inspired sound. Uh, fun fact as well is that inside the cabin here, Lexus is actually known for quiet interiors. So Lexus quiet interiors, but specifically for the LFA, they did not wanna do that. So what they did is they created some vents here at the top of the dash that bring the top notes of the engine over the driver and also bring the lower tones underneath so you're actually getting a full auditory experience while you're driving down the 280 in your LFA, right? 202 miles an hour? Not safe, don't do that. All right, so customizable, this vehicle. LFA, one out of 500. We do not build them until we get a phone call to build one. So they are built specifically to the owner's specs. You have 30 colors available for the LFA. This one that you're looking at is called Starlight Black. It's one of our custom colors. We also have seven customizable zones inside. You can customize inside the seats, front, the seat back, everything down to the stitching. And if you look at the brake calipers, as well on the side of the vehicles. Those are also customizable. You will not see any two LFAs in the entire world that are exactly alike. So a very special, very unique vehicle indeed. So engineering at its top for Lexus, it's representing all that we know, all that we want to have in our Lexus lineup. You guys want to know one question, I can tell. You're all still hanging out because you want to know how much does the LFA cost? Yeah. Now, mind you, you are getting one out of 500. We're never building it again. One time build, 2012 model year. Once we're done, we are no longer doing it. This vehicle starts you at a very easy $375,000. That's right, just in time for Valentine's Day. This one, 282, is going to be $384,000. What a steal, right? <laughs> Custom color, also the upgraded wheels, available at Stevens Creek dealership dealership if you are interested. Um, also available right now. One of the last five in the entire world you're looking at right now. Uh, if you have any more questions though about the LFA, I'm more than happy to answer them. My name is Cheryl once again. Um, I'm a product specialist with Lexus. If LFA is not in your price point, we have a lot of other vehicles in our display that will definitely be 
probably in something that you might want to purchase. Uh, we have sales associates on the floor as well. Please feel free to speak to them. And thank you so much for joining us at Last Lexus as we continue to engineer amazing.